Um, it's such a sad situation to see what um, politics have gone to. I mean, no people are gonna come and this are gonna boil down to the whole politics we are going in Jamaica. Bless up, bless up, my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on, put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 10k, my people, help me to get there. So, in this video, my people, mother and child of MP gone missing, as well as my people, 73 Haitians arrive in Jamaica. But before we get into all that, my people, remember to drop a like on the video. So, information circulating, my people that a high-level investigation is underway in the disappearance of a woman and her 10-month-old child from the Mullines Road area in St. Anjuma people. And it's said that the woman and her daughter was last seen at about 7.30 on Saturday morning. News media has confirmed that the child is the daughter of a member of parliament from the corporate area constituency. And my people, it's alleged that that member of parliament is Philip Palwell, my people. And it's alleged also that, you know, she was supposed to meet up with another baby mother of this said member of parliament who it seems to be, or who was deemed to be exchanged from the children's lives, my people. And the family member of this missing woman and baby is refuting those claims to say that she went to meet up with this other lady when in truth and in fact the family member said that she was picked up at her gate with the baby she also confirmed that paulwell hasn't been in in her cousin or the baby's life so who could have done such an act my people what really went down in this case of a missing mother with her 10 month old baby it was said that the MP was questioned my people, but I was not privy to get any information as to, you know, that um, question and answer as it pertains to the MP. So, my people, are we in another seventies, eighties type of election vibes where these things are happening is this a politically motivated disappearance what else will be learned from this whole saga as more details um come forth i'll update you guys but moving right along my people a total of 73 haitians have now arrived in jamaica my people and we all know that some time ago 37 came first and now we have received 36 more Haitians came upon Portland shores in boat, my people. A lot of adults as well as children in that lot, my people. And the first 37 that came, my people, are yet to seek some form of asylum in Jamaica. And to see you now my people at 36 more showed up what will happen what will this government do as it pertains to so many haitians um pulling up on the shores of jamaica seeing that jamaica is already in a in a somewhat in a heightened stage where i don't think we can take on any more problems right now my people with all that is going on right now in jamaica um in this whole political season. Why 
are our borders so open? We're not supposed to have border patrol on the whole of the borders them in, a, in, in a Jamaica so that we don't have um, persons just showing up on our shores. I saw we can't have other illegal um, substance and uh, uh, illegal weapons that show up on our shores and them can't just distribute it all over the island just like that because we don't have the border patrols and we don't have enough border patrols for every single end of our island. The borders are too free. Jamaica can't take on no more saga right now, my people. But who tell me what I think um, the Prime Minister will do as it pertains to these 73 Haitians that are currently in Jamaica right now, my people. As well as, you know, we're calling for it that, you know, I'm praying that this mother and baby is alive and well. And I pray that, you know, whosoever hold them hostage or whosoever kidnap them, that they may release them unharmed. Um, it's such a sad situation to see what um, politics have gone to. I mean, no, people are going to come and this is going to boil down to the whole politics we are going in a Jamaica. And people, it pays to at least confide in at least one person when you not leave in the yard. Make at least one person who you can trust. Know where you not leave to go. And who you not leave out on the yard for go away with. Because a whole lot of people, a whole lot of children have gone missing since the start of the year. Cannot be accounted for nobody I pretend I act like them don't know where these children are or where these persons are since of late I heard about a, 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 a upcoming artist medic gone missing my people over two weeks now tell me when you think my people if you think this is a politically motivated kidnapping or was this some bitterness from the other mother to you know cause harm to this mother and her 10 month old baby drop some comment in the comment section and let me know what you think my people don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel run go over to my other platform instagram and facebook and follow me over there at anisa bell rose check out the youtube store check out the youtube membership you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member of the channel we do notification shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment and like and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Evelyn Meikle. So big up yourself Evelyn Meikle. Big up to each and every subscriber. Thanks for all of the support. New viewers, wanna wait pan. Come on board, join the family. Journey with me. Subscribe to the channel. Share out some of the videos. Get this video to at least 500 likes my people. Stay tuned for more videos. Big up on yourself.